people keep asking if I'm back, and I haven't really had an answer. But now, yeah, I'm thinking I'm back. Hello ladies and gentlemen, if you're wondering where I've been and why this video took so dang long to release, stick around to the end of the video. For now, welcome back to another Fallout 4 challenge run. This time we got a real doozy on the cards. We're tackling the Acid Soaker. Many of you have probably never heard of this gun, and I'll get more into the details on it later, but for now just know this, it's not very good. Like all my challenge runs, I won't be dealing damage with anything but said weapon, which means I gotta play like a pacifist until we get it at Nuka Cola World. Can you get that? No! It's probably that salesman. He comes for you every day. <laughs> Good morning! Nino, morning! vault -Tec calling. Whatever you're selling, I'm not buying. No worry, sir. Come on, hon. It's just a little paperwork. Let him fill it out, and it's... <laughs> Come back some other time. Don't want there to be any holdups in the unforeseen event of <laughs> total atomic annihilation. <laughs> not gonna happen. Oh my god! Congratulations on being prepared for the future. Honey, could you help me? Not gonna happen. Giant roaches? What the hell? <laughs> Gravity, more roaches! Get it off me! Emergency destruct system is now activated. Wait, you get licking. Ship will detonate in T minus. Farewell, Frodo Baggins. I give you the light at Indian. Codsworth, listen to me carefully. Have you seen him? Have you seen Sean? Yes. God damn it. Round two serves, sir. <laughs> First order of business is to get some levels under our belt. To do this, without killing anything, I'm going to be abusing settlement crafting experience. Simply put, I'm scrapping everything I can in Sanctuary and Red Rocket to build as many simple structures as possible. I'm gonna be building shelves because they can be placed inside one of another, and floor mats because they can be stacked on top of each other. This will allow me to get to about level 14 in order to get some very powerful perks early. If you're interested in the perk progression of this playthrough, be sure to check out the description box below. Hey, up here! FBI, open up! So what's your story? Looking to rob me? Sure. <laughs> Boy, have you come to the wrong place. Take off the fucking pack and put it on the ground. Or die! Whoa, easy there, scammer. Anything I can do to help? I have a hundred caps if you blow Wolfgang. What the fuck? Fine, just my goddamn luck. Up, up, and away! Stop playing around, Danny. I'm standing out in the open here for crying out loud. Ooh, just doing your job. <laughs> oh, look. I'm sorry. <laughs> You support the news? What newspaper are you talking about? Mine, Public Occurrences. What newspaper are you talking about? Mine, Public... What newspaper are you talking about? Mine. What newspaper are you talking about? This is ridiculous. Great. So here's the deal. I want an interview. Here's your headline. Local man says no. Fine. 
Now that we have some decent power armor and a handful of consumables, it's time to head over to the Nuka-Cola Transit Center to make our way into Nuka-Cola World, which is where the acid soaker is to begin with. To get inside, we're going to hop over this barrier and run. This will allow us to avoid all the hostiles guarding the entrance to begin with. However, this Assaultron still follows us. We need to manage to have a conversation with Harvey without getting booty blasted by this robot. To do this, we're simply going to hop down into the railway and bait the Assaultron to following us there. Once the beep boop is down, we jump over the train and hide behind a concrete block every time the Assaultron fires its laser. This needs to stop now. Once the conversation with Harvey is over, we can get on the tram and make our way into Nuka-Cola World. Now that we're in Nuka-Cola World, we need to skip the gauntlet because we have no way of killing Coulter yet. To do that, we're just going to power armor clip through the wall. Before I head to the Nuka Cade, which is where the Acid Soaker is, I'm going to make a pit stop by the Galactic Zone. Reason being, I want the Quantum X01 Power Armor. This set is one of the best armor sets in the game, and is going to provide me with all the damage reduction I'm going to need for this playthrough. And trust me when I say, I'm going to need a lot. Normally, you collect all the Star Cores and restore power to access this armor. I, on the other hand, will be popping some jet, running like a madman, and power armor clipping through the glass display case to get it. Now onwards to the Nuka Cade. The Acid Soaker costs 6,250 tickets Holy to purchase, but the kicker roll. is it's not always available to be purchased. The ticket rewards rotate over time. However, every time you first enter the Nuka Cade, it changes the list. So, if we save before we enter, we can simply load back until we get it to show up on the list. Now, on to actually getting the tickets. I just cheesed the hell out of Hoop Shot. All right, now we have the Acid Soaker and just need to get out of Nuka-Cola World. The Acid Soaker has no ammo currently, which is fine for now, because we can just bash Coulter to death with it. We simply armor clip back into the gauntlet and it's like everything is proceeding as normal. Now because I couldn't find an alternative way to remove Coulter's shield without the Thirst Sapper, and because the Thirst Sapper does zero damage, I thought it would be fine to use it to remove his shields. That guy was nothing. Now you may be wondering what on earth you just saw. As you'll soon discover, we're going to end up bashing a lot in this playthrough, which is why I would like to introduce you to the epic gamer strategy known as animation cancelling. To do this, simply take any melee attack, in our case bashing, and as soon as the hitbox comes out, swap between first person and third person view. This will allow you to attack at a faster rate than if you were to simply spam the attack button without toggling viewpoints. Back in the Commonwealth, we are now tasked with acquiring the ammo for the Acid Soaker. While I could simply attempt to play through the entire game using just the bash ability of the gun, I would rather showcase the actual projectile this thing fires. Unfortunately, the ammo, named Acid Concentrate, can only be crafted, and the recipe for said ammo is a bit on the ridiculous side. The recipe cost is 20 acid, 8 glass, and 2 adhesive. Pretty expensive, especially considering the early game. Acid in particular is not easy to get in massive quantities, but since the clip size for the acid soaker is 20, and the recipe calls for 20 acid per craft, one would assume it makes 20 rounds per craft. Unfortunately, this is not the case. Each craft of 20 acid, 8 glass, and 2 adhesive produces a single single acid soaker round. Yes, 20 acid for one squirt, making this one of the most expensive ammo types to craft in the entire game. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. That being said, I still want to be able to shoot this gun, so I will employ a strategy I usually refrain from doing, duping. Yes, I'm going to dupe acid, glass, and adhesive in order to make a bunch of acid concentrate for this playthrough. My method for duping is really simple. I will get some of the raw materials and press the button to scrap and store the materials in the workshop at the same time. If done properly, this will open up both scrapping and storing menus at the same time and allow you to both scrap and store the materials, effectively 
doubling your material count each time. It takes a bit of time, but eventually we farm up over 32,000 acid, 14,000 glass, and 11,000 adhesive. With this ridiculous amount of resources, I can craft enough ammo to last my entire playthrough. One disingenuous side effect of this strategy is that since I gain EXP per craft, I'm going to be gaining a lot of levels. But, as the French say, c'est la vie! I make around 1500 rounds and call it bueno. Now that I have everything I need to complete this playthrough, it's just a matter of taking it one quest at a time. One thing to note, however, is that the Acid Soaker is considered a poison type weapon, and thus doesn't scale with any perks aside from Bloody Mess. That being said, the actual projectile is one of the weakest in the game, only to be outdone by the Flare Gun, which isn't even designed to be used as a weapon. The Acid Soaker does, however, apply a small damage resistance debuff on targets for a short amount of time. The only other way to increase damage is by taking the basher perk. The final rank of the basher perk gives your bashes a 15% chance to crit. If I use this perk in tandem with better criticals, I can get my bashes to do some pretty decent damage, if they crit. Aside from that, all my perks will be going into survivability like more endurance for bonus HP. Who you are? Hey, bro, watch your jet. Watch your jet, bro. Watch your jet. You won't get away with this. So if you couldn't tell by now, even with ammo, the acid soaker is still turbo doggo doo doo. Absolute garbage grand man without the grand man. I mean, this gun is so terrible, you'd literally be better off peeing on your opposition. Come to think of it, it might be just as good as peeing on your opposition. With the yellow coloration and all, it kind of looks like that too. What the hell? It may not be a chest full of emeralds, ah. but it'll have to do. Bullshit. Well, let's hear about the permit. We have one home available. I'll take it. Here's the key. And what's on the floor? Trash. Dead at the end. A tavern of unsavory repute. Just yet. This is between me and my wife. But it's not your fault. Assault! 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 He's dead. You there. I have a question for you. Not interested. Wait, just hear me out. Cook is sleeping. Not interested. Night, night. We need to talk. Jesus, Paul. It's time for you to shut up. What are you doing here? Just looking for a drink. Jesus, Paul. What do you have to say this time? Just this. What the fuck is your problem? That. Paul, he used to be one of my best pals. You've got my attention. Money. I'm in. They sound complete! And it, again, it, it just works. Whoa. What? What are you? Look, I know the skin and the metal parts ain't comforting, but it's not important right now. Whoa. Should've left it alone, Nikki. I'm king of the castle, you hear me? And I ain't letting some dick shut us down now that I finally got a good thing going. I told you we should've just killed him! Darla, listen to me. You're right! This is goodbye. Oh, come on, Nikki. You cost me my men, now you and your friend cost me my dick. My friend here just did you a favor. How did you know where to find me anyway? That's not important. Meet me at Diamond City. I don't have time to sit and chit chat. All right, wise guy. Diamond City is the place to live, I tell you. Excuse me, can I talk to you a minute? Get lost. Hey, hey sorry, sorry to bother you. Here. Tell me everything you can. There was a man and a woman. My wife murdered a man who killed my wife. You're a freak. You've got something to hide. Wait. You're one of them. Super mutants? They made you. Yeah, I've heard it all before. Don't lie to me, Nick. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's the elevator to the mayor's office. What is the mayor coming out of the office? Oh, look who it is. 
what brings you to the mayor's office, huh? None of your business. You know, that's the kind of talk None I... None of your business. <laughs> I was just leaving anyway. Anything I can do? You just say the word. Ah, yes. I remember you. A man named Kellogg used to live in this city. I take my privacy very seriously. This man Kellogg kidnapped my son. Your word alone isn't hard evidence. I'll show you hard Did evidence, you Mayor McDonut. I thought I already told you. No funny business around the mayor. Got it? Far too busy to talk right now. I'm the mayor, after all. Hey, Valentine. Well, look at that. All of Kellogg's favorite things. Beer, beer, and beer. Hmm, interesting brand. What? The great dick is stumped? It's synth, jackass. If you're gonna be that way, you might as well get the make and model right. Ready to get to work, me, dog? <laughs> Where's my son? He's not here. God damn it, you mercenary motherfucker. Where is my son? He's not here. Where is Sean? He's not here. No! He's not here. That's not true. He's not here. It can't be. He's not here. I've come so far. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> You're back. And not with your son. What happened? I'm gonna need a really sharp ice cream. The guy who just handed them Sean. Kellogg. Huh. What about him? Gets his brains blown out. Huh. Bastards in hell. Huh. A murderer and a kidnapper gets his brains blown out. Huh. Oh, boy. Gets his brains blown out. Huh. Jesus, Nick. Gross. Seriously? Huh. All right. See you at the den. Hey, hold up there. First time in good neighbors? Oh, fuck! Sure. Fuck! Are you mad? Because if you are, I'm sorry. Let's try that again. Okie dokie. He ain't one of us. No love for your mayor, Finn. Cock. No, why'd you have to go and say that? It's not every day I get murder mugged and then witness a mechanic right in front of me. You obviously haven't been living it up enough. Mr. Valentine. Nick, let's go talk I to Amari. You had forgotten about the lonely. I may have walked out of the den, Irma, but I'd never walk out on you. Disgusting! Mm. Doctor, it's time for you to reverse fresh toast. What? It's true. What? We need a dead man's foreign object shoved into my noggin. But that's an incredible risk to take. I'm well past the warranty date anyway. Technically, we should try plugging you into a toaster. Are you too mad? Uh, I wouldn't have put it quite that way, but it's true. What? You need this. I'll take a look. Could you say that like Dr. Frankenstein? Ego, fetch me the fresh toast. Do you have it with you? Here's fresh toast. What's this? Fresh toast. Wouldn't have put it quite that way, but it's true. Seriously? Wait. This is the biggest scientific secret of the Commonwealth. Seriously? I need you to keep talking to me, Mr. Valentine. Any slight change in your cognitive functions could be dire. Are you feeling any different? There's a lot of flashes. Yeah, I'm not gonna see him in any compromising positions, am I? Wouldn't have put it quite that way, but it's true. Seriously? You try making a secret technology work across hardware generations out of spare parts. Tony Stark was able to build this in a cave! With a box of scraps! 
Nick and I are gonna share a toaster. Wouldn't have put it quite that way, but it's true. Just sit down over there and keep your fingers crossed. <laughs> yes! Can you hear me? Ah, good. The simulation appears to be working, although the memories are quite fragmentary. I'll try to step you through the intact memories and hope we find one that gives us some clue to the Institute's location. Rise and shine, Mr. Freeman. Freeman. I don't know what kind of side effects the procedure might have had. How do you feel? I want popcorn. This is serious. <laughs> I want popcorn. The memory gave us a starting point, the glowing sea. Oh no, I'm not going there. That's crazy. What kind of place is this? Oh my god! Okay, it's happening. Everybody stay calm. What's the Everybody procedure, everyone? Calm. What's the procedure? Stay calm! Wait, 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 wait. Everybody, you calm down! Hold it. What do you want? Quit your whining. No. I don't have time for this. Look at me. Quit your whining. Have you ever seen an institute bot? <laughs> Are you here for the synth? I'm here to kill you and take two large pepperoni. That you cannot have. Uh, fuck you. to be impressed hmm it spins Stan you turned the lights on too fast you blinded the poor kid I'm just exploring hmm and you just happened to guess the password to the secret door yes news flash boss this guy is kind of a big deal you're saying this intruder is kind of a big deal I owe you an apology Let's say, hypothetically, I've come to Would you be able to help? Newsflash, boss. This guy is kind of a big deal. Anyone who kills a Desdemona is good in my book. Whoa! For real? You managed to get what you need? Nah, I just went out for a little stroll. Here's the symbol explanation. You need to shit. You know the craziest part of the design? That classical music shit. Your confidence is staggering. If you can build this shit and make use of that bot, you should be able to shit. I'm just saying, I can't shit. I mean, can you shit? Have I given you reason to doubt me? You find that shit. Nah. <clears throat> hey, good to see you again. Can you take a look at these schematics? I've had word from a settlement that needs help. Fuck off, will you please? Yeah, still think you can help me change your mind. Help me change your mind. change your mind. That's what the Minutemen are supposed to be all about. I need to know if you can build this. Wow. Hmm. Looks like, uh, shit. Actually, it's just basic chemistry. I wouldn't be wasting your time if I didn't think it was real. Okay, okay. But you gotta admit, it isn't every day somebody asks me to build them shit. Look what I have created! Okay. Uh-oh. Uh, hold on to your shit. I wondered if you might make it here. I can only imagine what you've heard, what you think of us. I'd like to show you that you may have the wrong impression. It's good to finally meet you after all this time. These bad people, they, they stole you from me. The degree of trauma you're experiencing right now is understandable. Damn it. Sean, open the door. Please, 
Just try to relax. This is insane. Right, wrong, irrelevant. Bullshit. The Institute believed humanity's future. Mother. She never got to see you grow up? Yes. What happened to her was irrelevant. She was murdered. Killed? Yes. Murdered? I'm not so sure about that. I'm not, I'm not so sure about that. I don't see the point of any of this. Food supplement 77 has been discontinued? That is correct. I want supplement 77. You're to be given full access with the ability to relay in and out of the Institute at will. Well, that's insulting. Um, I'm sorry. You'll be the only one here with that kind of access. Well, that's insulting. If nothing else, it should demonstrate the amount of trust Father has placed in you. Well, that's insulting. I'm... Um... I'm sorry. So, here you are. Stay out of my way, or you'll regret it. Very well. Welcome. So good to have you here. Tell me more about those synth gorillas. On the whole, I'd say they were a success. I doubt it. Stop posting about Donkey Kong. I'm tired of seeing it. My friends on TikTok send me yeah. on Discord. It's fucking okay. I was in a server, right? And all of the channels are just. Oh, no, no. I, I showed my champion underwear to my girlfriend. In the logo, I flipped it and I said, "Hey, babe, when the underwear's." <laughs> <laughs> What the dog doing? Here's that holotape you gave me. Full of Institute data. It's okay. I'm with the Minutemen. Most people don't put much stock in the Minutemen these days. The fuck you say to me, you little shit! Boom. Boom. Yeah, I kicked their asses for you. Thanks again, friend. You know that settlement you sent me to help? I don't think I ever told you what happened to the Minutemen. I'm not interested in your life story. How I ended up as the last one. Listen, you son of a bitch! I'm not interested in your life story. Just hear me out. What the fuck's your no. problem? This is important. No. I don't accept that. I'm not interested in your life story. No. 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 Here's your headline. Local man says. Our scouts have found a promising spot for new settlement. Oh my God! Can you let me do what I need to do? You call this a farm? It's pathetic. That's great news. So, should I have an assault force assemble near the castle? Yeah. Let's do this. There it is. Pretty impressive, huh? Not really. It looks pretty trashed. Once we clear it out, you'll see. Not really. People will see the men and men aren't afraid of a real fight. Not really. What are we waiting for? Let's just get in there and shoot those lobsters. <laughs> Now, normally this fight wouldn't be so bad, but because I'm on the hardest difficulty, survival, relative to the normal difficulty, I am taking 400% more damage and dealing 25% less damage, hence why I needed this power armor to survive. Now, if it weren't for the Minutemen here to assist me in taking the Mylar Queen down, I'm not sure how long this would have taken. The Minutemen don't pack much of a punch, but anything's better than just the Acid Soaker. She's also resistant to poison damage, and while that negates the poison dot of the Acid Soaker, I don't think it negates the damage resistance reduction it applies. That being said, I bashed her far more than I shot her, and for your sake, I cut the vast majority of this fight out of the video. Wow, we really did it. Ah, there you are, finally. I've been waiting to talk to you. Lady, I really don't want to talk to you. I don't much care what you want to do, but I want to talk to you so you're going to listen. Actually, I'm not. <laughs> She's dead. Thank God. God damn it. Sorry, you still be down here. Now self-destruct. Hmm. Oh. You are so 
shit, you don't realize what you're doing. And Ronnie Shaw returns. She's something else, isn't she? Something like a real pain in the ass. <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. Get to the point. What do you need? A pack of feral ghouls has wandered in nearby. We're in some real trouble. You're doing me a big favor. We've been having some trouble with raiders. There's not a raider alive who troubles me. Boom. I led Isildur into the heart of Mount Doom, where the ring was forged, the one place it could be destroyed. Cast it into the fire! Destroy it! Good news. Finch Farm has joined us. Okay, good. Please don't get any germs on us. Hi there. Stay out of my way, or Always you'll regret it. That sounds a bit like a threat. Constant I can't believe you've done this. I don't think you have any idea how fast I really am. How fast this fucking boy Come on, come on, come on! Oh, God! Relay powering up. Did you think we would not see what you have done? Did you think I wouldn't know you've betrayed me? What the fuck are you talking about? What are you talking about? After all I've done. We've seen a lot of those Institute crow things sniffing around. Looks like they're getting ready to try to take us out. Next time, we're gonna be taking the fight to them. It's time for us to strike back against the Institute. I have some good news for you. I've had word from a settlement that- Hey, listen, help. asshole. Those are fucking fighting words. Yes, sir. I found you a way into the Institute. Took you long enough. Is this the Krusty Krab? No, this is Patrick. <laughs> So this is the Institute. They could have just held out down here forever. why they need to come mess with us? They think they're better than us. Our scouts have found a promising spot for a new settlement. This is ridiculous! Out of my way, son! Stop! 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 Please! Ah. Hey there, General. I can't override it from here. You're gonna need to get access to it somehow. Is it regret? Or did you just come to gloat? I wanted to see you one last time before your whole empire comes crashing down around you. Get out of here. Please, Dad, don't leave me here. I want to go with you. 
You're not Sean. You're not Sean. Nobody told me. I just You're not Sean. Why would you? You're not Sean. You're not Sean. You're a robot. Made to think you're real. All right, Sturgis. I can't believe it. Fire it up. Relay's ready whenever you are, boss. Let's get the hell out of here. You're seriously gonna leave that kid? It's none of your goddamn business, Sturgis. Sturgis, this was a safe distance outside the blast radius. Tick, tick, boom! Boom. Hey guys, it's French Tomahawk here. Thank you very much for uh, watching the video. It's been so long that I've grown a beard now. Sorry about the delay. Uh, if you want to know why on earth it took me so long uh, to make this video, please check out the twit longer in the description. It goes into all the details, uh, but I don't want to sit here and explain everything. Uh, TLDR, I was lazy. Sorry. Um, subscribe to the channel uh, because that's lit. Uh, click the notification bell because I know for a fact that all you guys are subscribed to like 500 different channels and if you subscribe to my channel and I upload a video you won't see it in your sub feed because you haven't clicked the freaking bell check me out on twitch uh, I play video games on twitch I don't know but uh, if you knew that but people do that there uh, I also record videos like the one you just watched on twitch and I edit them on twitch and people in the twitch chat while they're watching the edit, can be like, hey, you should add a funny fart noise here, and if it's a good place for a funny fart noise, I'll add the funny fart noise. And uh, and then every time you rewatch the video and you hear that funny fart noise, you'll be like, you know, I told them to add that funny fart noise. So if that sounds interesting to you, head over there, give me with a follow, it's free. If you got the primers, give me that free Jeff Bezos money. Um, I'm starting a new channel for like stupid unedited stuff. It's not gonna replace this, but like raw footage as well as like just rants that I want to go on or anything really that uh, isn't highly curated content I'll just be throwing over there so check that out I got a Twitter follow me on that we got a discord join that we're launching a gilded uh, anyone who joins within the first week of this video being uploaded gets a unique role on there it's like a discord alternative we're gonna check that out I got a patreon and uh, I also got an Instagram so check all those out I would really appreciate it. Thank you very much again for watching this video. I know it was a really long one, but uh, yeah, I'm going to shoot for one video a month going forward, and uh, yeah, we'll see where uh, we go. Time will tell. I'm not going to make any promises, but uh, we're back, baby. Peace.